Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the Green Onion, back with another review. Today we got this Matchbox Globe Travelers Ford GT40 to take a look at. This is a very beautiful car, probably my favorite of the Matchbox Globe Travelers series. Other than that Audi R8, that Audi R8 is pretty cool. But we got this GT40 here, the Golf Racing, Golf Livery, yeah, the Golf Racing uh, design on it, which is really cool. I always love all the Golf Racing cars. I like the color scheme used on them. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think this is a famous Le Mans car, so them putting the Golf livery on this, I think there was a real version of this Le Mans car with the Golf livery on it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the, the, the GT40 did run under a Golf livery in at least one of its races, so that's pretty cool. Paying a homage to that if it actually did. But <clears throat> we got number nine on the side in a circle, traditional racing uh, number circle thing. Golf on the front instead of a Ford logo, which is kind of cool. Front light tampos, which is pretty cool. Here's another car for comparison. We got the Hot Wheels Golf Ford GT LM, which is more of like a modern take on the GT40. We got, I painted the rear lights, but got a wing on this one, whereas this one doesn't obviously. Pretty much the same striping though. We got that Golf logo there, except this one has the Ford logo too, but it kind of broadens out and forms a stripe down the car, which is kind of cool. Tampos, the front light tampos on this car are kind of worse than this one, but they both have the same basic uh, form here. We got the circle with the racing number on it, number 15 for this car, number 9 for the GT40 Matchbox. And the side here continues with the Golf. There is a little bit of a paint overspray there that's kind of annoying but that's fine I, i'll deal with it we got over here is a golf logo with like a checkered flag on it which is kind of neat firestone tires down there there's the number nine on the side there we got the coney shocks uh logo i think that's like their older logo because you can see a modern their modern logo on other cars it actually says firestone twice on this uh side skirt here which is kind of cool and i can't really read what that says I'm not really sure what this says, but a checkered flag um, logo there. On the back, we always have the Matchbox 65th anniversary logo because we want to know this is from their 65th anniversary. We got the wheels here, which are spot on for this car. Orange wheels. Always love the orange wheels on a golf themed car. See, this Hot Wheels one also has orange wheels, or orange rimmed wheels at least. Got the chrome outline and, and orange wheels. Couldn't have done that much better. This cat casting is just so detailed, so beautiful. It's very good. I like all the panel lines on this car. They even went as far as to add like nuts, the individual rivets, nuts and bolts. They got these little uh, hood pins in there. I think those are actually DTA, detailed silver. Wow, I didn't even notice that the first time around until looking at them. Got the rear vents here. The little doors are all have details on them. There's the door handle, another vent, and on the back you can see the exhaust pipe, some more vents, and yeah. So overall the casting is really cool, panel lines are really great, even the interior window has a sort of a detail into it. I'm not sure what that is, that little flap there, or window, but it's still pretty cool. The Hot Wheels one doesn't, but that one's a basic. But looking through the back, you can sort of see the interior a little bit and eh, they didn't really do they didn't really detail the engine all that much it's just kind of a little brick it looks like a lego brick almost but it's still an effort for putting it into the car on the front also we got the grill although that is not detailed the other side is basically the same and then here's the rear which has the blacked out uh i don't know what you call that the back just the blacked out bumper ish area i don't know and then the rear lights are also done in tampos. I think that vent is actually silver too, but yeah, the rear lights done in tampos. Oh, the exhaust and the vents on the back don't have details. That's a little surprising. But yeah, this car is very, very awesome. This is one of the best castings I think Matchbox has done for this year and maybe will do for a few years. This thing is going to be very hard to beat. Here's the base. It's still plastic. I've never actually seen a metal-on-metal -metal Matchbox car. But Ford GT40 main Thailand, K48, so this is produced almost um, almost at the end of, uh, no, it was at the end of 2017, almost in 2018. 
Uh, I think the Land Rover was L01, which means the first week of 2018, so that's pretty cool. So the Land Rover was made after this car. But yeah, here's the 4GT. 40, 4GT40, sorry, from the Matchbox Globe Traveler series. Yeah, be sure to pick this one up. They should be in your local Walmart on the pegs. But yeah, this is a very beautiful car. Love it, love it, love it. It's just awesome to have. Awesome to hold. I love putting it in my little Golf uh, Gas Station diorama by Greenlight. I think I have a video on that too. But yeah, I give this car 11 out of 10. This is awesome. And... Yeah, if you want to see more reviews from my channel, just subscribe to my channel if you want. If you don't, that's fine. I don't really care, to be honest. I'm not going to beg anybody for subscribers. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.